All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And I guess I'm doing kind of like a follow-up video to one that I made a few days ago talking about how Elon Musk was already making changes at Twitter. Uh, he's made some more pretty insane changes. Lots of new stuff coming along in the pipeline and I wanted to talk about that today because honestly, there's some things here I like, but there's also some things here that I really dislike and there's some things I just wanna talk about. These have been pretty massive, especially the one that we're gonna be covering here, which is paying $8 a month for the verification badge on Twitter. This has been very controversial. I want to talk about this and kind of give my insight slash opinion on this whole thing. Obviously, I am an avid user of Twitter, more or less against my will. At this point, I probably would have quit Twitter a long time ago if I didn't really kind of just use it for my job. I mean, I use this to help create content and communicate with my audience and everything. So Twitter is an, a, an important platform, I mean, to say the least for me. Uh, I, I have a lot of, I guess, investment uh, into Twitter and and I obviously want to see the platform in the best possible state that it can be in. And so with that, I kind of just want to share my opinions and share some of what I have to say about these new changes. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the recent changes that Elon Musk announced on Twitter via his own Twitter account. He's been kind of using his Twitter as like a way to announce changes that are kind of in the pipeline and everything for Twitter. So this one has been pretty controversial. It's been the $8 a month, uh, you buy Twitter blue and that's how you're going to get the verification badge, which would mean, you know, people who are verified, got the little check mark on Twitter, would have to spend $8 a month on Twitter Blue basically to keep their check mark or get one. This has been extremely controversial and honestly for good reason. A lot of people have been calling this out. A lot of people say that honestly a verification badge isn't worth spending $8 a month on. They don't understand why you'd have to spend money to be verified. They also, a lot of people think that like just putting it on Twitter Blue and letting people buy a check mark essentially just devalues like the overall importance of having a verification. Now I'm not verified on Twitter. Uh, I am like verified on YouTube and stuff like that. And I gotta say, I don't think it's that good of an idea, man. I, I really don't. I don't think charging people for the verification is a good idea. Now I do agree. Like what is necessarily what's special about being verified if you could just straight up buy it, right? If you can pay for Twitter blue and you can get a check mark on, on your account or whatever, right? Like what, what benefit does that provide? Like in all reality, what is a check mark on Twitter do for the average person? I mean, like for me, I don't really care about the check mark. You know, like, would it be cool to be verified? Sure, it'd be awesome to be verified on Twitter. Is it something that I need or like am going out of my way to get? I don't really think so. I, I don't think it's really worth that much, you know? I feel like it just more or less devalues what verification's for. Like, if everybody's verified, then like, what does that really mean? You know, what does being verified mean? Now, Elon's point is that it's going to help combat like spam and bots and stuff like that by basically showing you like what's a real account and what's not. But I feel like there's a better way of doing this, you know, like of verifying that people are really actually humans and not bots, you know? what I mean other than like selling the verification badge but that's not the only thing that'll be coming in the pipeline there's also some other changes that were uh, announced basically you will also get priority and replies mentions and search which is essential to be a defeat spam slash scam uh, ability to post long video and audio and half as many ads so basically I I don't know how I feel about that first one like I, I feel like it can go either way you know it can be good it can be bad now I, I agree that they, they need to do more to like fight scam and spam on the platform and stuff and like these bots. I'm not debating that. I don't know about priority and replies and stuff like that. That just kind of makes your platform feel pay to win. You know what I mean? Like it makes it feel like for the average user, which is going to be a person not paying for this stuff, like they're just going to be kind of drowned out, which is weird because like Elon's been on this thing about, oh, free speech, no free speech. How is it really free and fair speech if people who are spending money on the platform basically get promoted more? You know what I mean? They get priority replies and mentions and search. Like it, it feels like a little bit more of a pay to win system. It feels like in reality, like you're really devaluing the experience of Twitter for people who aren't outright paying for the platform. And I mean, all of Twitter's competitors, when you look at, them right they charge all these things are free you know like you can get verified for free on youtube or on facebook or on instagram but you'd have to pay for it on twitter you know what i mean 
Uh, in certain platforms, there are already priority replies. Like on YouTube, you know, you as a creator are prioritized in the responses to comments and stuff like that. That's already free. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It just, it feels like it's moving the platform towards too much of a paid feature. Now, the ability to post long video and audio, I do think is a W. And the only reason I think this is a win is because I already have Twitter Blue because I use the platform for business. And on the same level, I could actually upload my content to Twitter. So right now the video limits like two and a half minutes or something like that for most accounts. Uh, but I would be able to actually upload Optimus content to Twitter. Not that I would guarantee do something like that, but it would at least give me the option. And I mean, spending eight bucks to potentially expose all new types of audiences to my content, that's a W in my opinion. I really like that idea. And he actually went on to expand upon this uh, by saying it would give Twitter a revenue stream to reward content creators. So apparently people like me who make videos online and stuff and make content online, hypothetically, we could post our content to Twitter, run ads on it, you know, get paid through it or something like that, kind of like YouTube kind of a W I think that's a good idea I'm not gonna lie uh, but that's of course I'm biased because it's my job now the half as many ads I don't think this is a good feature to be honest with you like I understand why he wants to keep some ads like yeah you got to keep getting some of that ad revenue generating some money off of that and whatnot but if I'm paying eight bucks a month I should get an ad free experience like Paying eight bucks a month, you gotta think like what, YouTube premium, how much is YouTube premium now? It's 12 bucks a month, okay? So it's four extra dollars, you get zero ads and all the other features, right? Like paid programs on social media oftentimes give you no ads. So like as an average user, like who's considering spending my 10 bucks on YouTube or spending my 10 bucks on Twitter, why would I not spend my 10 bucks on a platform that gives me ad free viewing experience and it's an actual native video platform compared to spending my 10 bucks basically on Twitter to get half as many ads for virtually the same amount of money. You know what I mean? Like the, the value isn't really there. You know what I mean? The value isn't really driven. Like half as many ads is not a selling point to me. Like I'm still getting ads. That isn't a selling point. You know what I mean? Plus ad block is a thing, bro. That's literally free. At this point, like saying, oh, it's an ad free experience, not really that big of a W and especially not that big of a W with half as many ads. Overall, I feel like there's some good concepts here and like I understand the mission and like the reason why he's doing some of these things, but truthfully, I feel like there's better ways of going about it. I feel like there's more constructive ways to go about it that doesn't really devalue the normal user's experience. The truth of the matter is you are never going to get everybody on Twitter to pay $8 a month for these features. You won't even get the majority of people on Twitter to spend $8 a month for really any features. When you're marketing these kinds of things like these paid subscriptions or whatever to social media platforms, you're essentially marketing that to like five to 10% of the user base, right? That uses it consistently. People like me, I have business interests in the platform, right? These are the people you need to target. And I feel like if the features for Twitter Blue were more targeted to people who actually are gonna use it for these kinds of purposes, the better overall it would be. Because all of these decisions are doing, frankly, are pissing people off. Like people don't like this check mark idea. I don't like the check mark idea. It doesn't really make sense. Marquez Brownlee actually said this best on Twitter. He recently quote tweeted like a tweet about this and he said, the one rule he's learned that's never been broken successfully is you don't charge for something that you previously were giving for free. And I think that this is a very good example of that. Like if you were like already giving people check marks and everything Twitter already was, don't try to make that a paid thing. Cause even people with check marks don't like this idea. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about the new changes coming to Twitter and give my opinion and insight on them. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about Elon Musk's changes to Twitter and signing out.